Making Noise TV, it's your boy Church Cheese. I am here at the Minnesota Black Chamber of Commerce Fashion Show and uh, Annual Gala. I'm here today with Mr. Lacey. And Mr. Lacey, what do you do? I'm basically the fashion coordinator for the Chamber of Commerce for the fashion, okay. for the fashion event. How long have you been in fashion? Over 29 years. 29 years, so you've seen almost everything that is in mm -hmm. fashion. What's your favorite fashion style? Just simple, man. Keep it simple and elegant. Simple and elegant? Yeah. Like like what you got on? Or yep. Are you wearing anybody special? Very honest right now. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I like that. See? I like yep. that. What color is that? You know, honestly, man, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a blue tone. Mm -hmm. Not sure what. <laughs> it's a bluish grayish tone, honestly. That's okay. what it is. Mm -hmm. well, who have you discovered from doing a fashion show? Well, tonight we discovered um, Ming. Ming. Which is which, which from, from the area, because normally we, designs we have are all, all from Tampa. Mm -hmm. This year we try to get designs from, from Manatee County itself, you know okay. what I'm saying, to showcase their talents. And we found Ming here today, and she showcased tonight. You saw her, her line was right. really on point. Everything was symmetrically done. I mean, all was everything. It was just so impressive just watching her create and execute her brand on the runway tonight. Shout out to me, shout out to all the designers that were here. You guys had some great designs and some lovely ladies wearing your designs and I think you guys did a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. And shout out to the Minnesota Black Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. for putting on this annual event. If you didn't come out, then you missed a good thing. Um, anything you want to say? Just um, support fashion in the area. You know, we're trying to bring a different quality fashion here to the area. From the, in, in, like we're doing in, in, in Tampa Bay, and we try, try to bring the same thing here. Hopefully, we'll get support you know, of the Chamber of Commerce, you know, mm -hmm. and, for, and for the Chamber of Commerce itself in, in this area. And just come on and support us. Support us, support us. Support the fashion designer, support the Minnesota Black Chamber of Commerce, mm -hmm. man. We will be right back with another special interview with Support Church Easy, Making Noise TV. Making Noise TV, it's your boy Church Easy. I am still here at the Minnesota Black Chamber of Commerce Fashion Gala. And to my right, my left, I don't know my uh, directions <laughs> anymore, I have Mr. Batib. Can you tell everybody your full name? Well, my name's Henry Batib, but I go by Hank, that's my moniker. Okay, Mr. Hank Batty. Where are you from? I'm from Sarasota, Florida, right? A oh. Sarasota native. Oh, okay. Well, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm hearing Batty like you are uh, uh, from an island, a uh, uh, well, French my, background. My, my father was from Cajun country down in oh, Louisiana. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, that's where the name comes from. So it's French. Now, Mr. Batty, what was your role here today at the Minnesota Black Chamber of Commerce Fashion Show? Well, first of all, to be a supporter of the chamber. And uh, Miss Tarnisha grabbed me to be a judge, if you will, or more of a commentator for, you know, the uh, different uh, fashion designers. So that was a, that was a joy. I enjoyed that. How long have you been in fashion? Uh, let's see. In the business, 44 years. In my business, 28 years. 44 years. Yeah. Just uh, making clothes or just in No, I started around? out started out as a salesman on St. Armand Circle in Sarasota, which is the carriage shopping area for Sarasota. So I did that for 16 years and started my business in 1990, and you know here we are, 28 years later. So it's been a nice ride. You design clothes? I design, yes. What are your what what kind of clothes do you design? What's your style? Well, I mean we do everything from sport coats to shirts to tuxedos to pants, and you actually become your own designer because what we do is we get you measured. We have a myriad of fabrics that you can choose from. Uh, once you choose your fabric, then you choose your style, whether you want a peak lapel jacket, notch lapel. So in essence, you become your own designer. Okay. okay. But I design for a lot of our clients. Now, how impressed were you with the, 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 
the designers from today. Very much so, and I'm not easily impressed. <laughs> uh, no, I think these ladies did a remarkable job. I like their variety, I like their versatility, uh, and their creativity. Did you have a favorite uh, piece from the night? I think it was the olive evening gown. And the reason I say that, but maybe it was the young lady that was wearing it because she wore it so well. And it was an unusual color for an evening piece. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, anything that you want to say to my viewers out here? I would say that if you're in business, you know, align yourself with the Minnesota uh, Black Chamber because it's a way to grow your business. It's a good way to network mm -hmm. and find out what other people in the area are doing. And it could also help boost your business. Cool beans. Anywhere we can find your designs? Well, my designs are at my studio, and we're at 1530 Dolphin Street, downtown Sarasota, okay. Studio 5. Okay, 1530 Dolphin Street, Studio 5, Mr. Hank Bati. It's your boy Church Easy, making noise TV, man. I'ma let Mr. Hank Bati get on his way, man. But I appreciate you coming on to appreciate the show, you. man. Thank you very much. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. I got one more to go, real special one. Boy Church Easy, making noise TV. We out of here. Boy Church Easy, and I am here at the Minnesota Black Chamber of Commerce with Miss Tanisha Clyatt. Me and Miss Clyatt go way back. How you Hello, doing? Hello, Mr. White. Here she go with all this with Mr. White stuff. How you doing? I'm well. How about you? I am great. I'm great. I had a lovely time at the Minnesota Black Chamber of Commerce fashion show tonight. Is it fashion show or gala? Or am I saying it the it's right? It's the fashion show tonight. This whole week is our gala anniversary. Okay. Our Saturday event is our gala where we'll highlight honorees from the Manatee, Sarasota area. And that's um, at the Lakewood Ranch Country Club. Okay. Now, you have been doing this for, this is the third time, right? This is our third year. Absolutely. How, that is a charm. How, how is it doing this fashion show? Uh, how, how, how passionate are you about what you're doing? We're definitely passionate about the fashion show. It showcases um, different designers from across the Tampa Bay area. Um, as the Chamber of Commerce, we want to highlight business owners, and this definitely signifies what our mission and vision is all about. And we look forward to changing our community one business at a time, one designer at a time. And we're excited about where the progress has taken us. We started from the country club, and we're now here. And we're just really excited about the designers that we have here. They're from the Walt of life of Ganya in um, South America to Liz Rucker who is featured from out of New York. Um, so just a plethora of different designers. We're really excited about what we showcase tonight. I had a great time tonight, man, and I saw some really, 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 really nice designs. What was one of your favorite or one that stood out to you the most? Wow. Um, I am blown away by all the designs, um, actually. Um, I'm really excited about Ming, um, who is a local in Manatee County. I had never saw her pieces and just to 
see her transform um, on the runway, just to see someone that started out um, seven months ago wow. and see her pieces that just came to life. Um, the technique that she put inside of the designs. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks like she's been doing things for over 20 oh, wow. years. Absolutely. And then I was blown away by Pauline, um, who's from out of South America. And I was blown away by Liz. So I'm um, Tanique also was just fabulous on the runway. Um, Pauline, I, I just, I was blown away by every design. Um, we had Rolf, who was from out of Horizons Academy. With that shoes. His shoes, okay. exactly. Like shoes. And his students is actually the designs or are the inspiration of the designs. Wow. So his students helped him in the designs of the shoes. So we had children involved in this. So it's just amazing what took place tonight. Shout out to Mr. Rolf and his students at Horizon. Shout Absolutely. out to you, man. You did a great Absolutely. job. Um, how hard is it to get all of these models and designers in one spot for one night to do a fashion show like this? Well, we start in November. We put out a casting call mm -hmm. and um, we are fortunate to have designers and fashion models that come across the Manatee Tampa Bay area. Um, so it is definitely um, something that we work really hard at bringing them all together and keeping them for the whole duration of doing rehearsals on top of making sure that they're at the fittings on top of making it here um, the one thing that we're just really fortunate about we had to change our date mm -hmm. from Friday which we normally have it but we had to do it on um, Thursday and we're just fortunate to have a location that just hosted us and our community definitely supports what the mission and the vision is of Minnesota Black Chamber of Commerce anything that you want to say to any shout outs or any advice or anything you want to say to the people out there watching? I would definitely say it is important to shop locally to make sure that your businesses are represented in our community. Make sure that that black dollar is definitely staying right here in our community. It helps us increase the volume, increase our presence in the community. And that black dollar is so important to our community. And I'm excited about what's going on. A lot of times they people say that the millennial is a lost generation, but I believe that they're at the forefront of change. So I'm excited about the millennials. I'm excited about the, the fashion movement. I'm excited about the Minnesota Black Chamber of Commerce, where we're looking to change our community one business at a time. We thank you, Mr. White, for being here and hosting with us. Thank you very much for having me. When is the next fashion show? The next fashion show okay, no will hair. be next year, the same time we have our annual events, we have our golf tournament annually, our fashion show annually, and then we have our gala annually as well. So, there you go. Okay, keep y'all up on it when the fashion show, the, at the annual gala, the uh, the Making Noise Gala. Uh, we're gonna have a Making Noise golf tournament. golf tournament and all that good stuff, man. It's Making Noise TV. It's your boy Church Easy here with Miss Tarnisha Clyatt. Man, I gotta let her go. She has a lot of stuff to do. She's a very busy woman. And you're the CEO, right? I'm the CEO, the founder, and the president. We're Ooh. excited about that. Woo! <laughs> Get you up, Miss Clyatt. You hear me? <laughs> Y'all take it easy, man. It's Making Noise TV here at the Minnesota Black Chamber of Commerce Fashion Show. You heard me? Next year, you better show up, because I will. Absolutely. Making Noise TV. And remember, if you ain't on Making Noise TV, you ain't making no noise. Absolutely. Minnesota Black Chamber of Commerce, changing businesses one business at a time.